All right, so here we're doing a forward walking lunge with a curl and press. And by putting these two movements together, we're gonna shock the nervous system, which in turn will help us be more coordinated. Um, doing two movements at once, combining, combining them together and making a complex motion out of them. And then we'll also keep the um, core activated the entire movement. When we press up, we want to reach. We want to reach through that press to activate more muscles in the core system. So boom, once again, we're combining multiple movements into one. And as you notice how I move that dumbbell across the body into my lunge, and then when I hit the bottom of my lunge, I'm curling and I'm pressing. I'm giving the muscles enough time to react to each movement and also adding the variation by switching the dumbbells, also furthering the um, disruption to my nervous system in hopes to make me stronger and more coordinated. Now we're doing step ups for reps. So we wanna try to hit at least 15 reps per set. We'll do two to three sets depending on how we're feeling after that second set. And as you notice, once we step up, we have the opposite side of the body suspended almost. And this is gonna keep your core activated throughout the movement. Again, making you stronger, attacking that second biggest muscle group in your body and placing the primary emphasis on the biggest muscle group of your body, which is the legs, and that second one being the core. All right, now we're still doing step up for reps. We're doing 15 to 20 step ups per set. That's two to three sets. And the variation added at this point in the workout, which is basically midway through our workout, we wanna uh, intensify the situation a little bit. So we'll add a super set. And after we do our step ups, we'll add a movement of our choice. Uh, the first one you seen was jumping jacks. And then the next one, I'll go ahead and knock out some push-ups for 30 seconds, all right? Just keeping our heart rate up and uh, making sure we get everything we came to get out of the gym. And also, the, the high-intensity workouts, um, they take away the need to do cardio on a cardio machine because we'll get our heart rate to that cardio uh, level or stage through uh, lifting weights and moving body weight.
distributed across the muscles. So if you notice here as we transition into hammer curls, I tell people to put their elbows back, pick their chest up. So uh, concentric, you're going to squeeze the muscle at the top. Eccentric, as you're letting the weight down, you're not going to put your arms all the way down, all right? We're going to keep that bicep activated uh, throughout the movement, okay? Up and down. Yeah, we did it, people. Another workout was completed. 100% effort. We put into that workout. We did what we had to do. We came, we saw, we conquered. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, tuning in to another video and giving me another opportunity to give some of this knowledge I have inside of my head to help somebody else be as great as I feel. Let's go. So let's go ahead and apply some of the information that I was able to offer to you guys today. Hopefully you can take this information and begin your journey or also enhance your journey. Um, I appreciate the time and once again, let's activate and motivate.